Hello there. Have you ever had the issue of a sticky button on a remote? A lot of times it's caused by dirt and dust that get in between the button and the housing. Sometimes it's because you might spill something into it. Uh, and sometimes it's just poor quality craftsmanship and poor quality um, inspections. And that is going to be the case here. So I've got everything laid out in front of you that I'm going to use. I've got my generic Dremel. This is a Goxawi, but it works fine, works great. And uh, petroleum jelly is always my go-to when it comes to two plastic parts that need to rub up against each other. Petroleum jelly for me has been proven time and time again. I even This is my, my dedicated bottle for my toolbox, so that's why it's all dusty and dirty because it gets used on objects, not... Uh, for what you normally, I guess, use petroleum jelly for. So, uh, I've got a Q-tip to be able to apply the petroleum jelly. And lastly, I have my iFixit uh, mini screwdriver case. And this is uh, my go-to screwdriver set. I got this from Tonycom.com. I couldn't tell you if they normally have these or not. I know when I saw it, I had the opportunity to get it and I jumped on it and the reason being is this has a lot of the, the tamper proof uh, types of bits in it and I work on lots of different stuff so I do run into those tamper proof screws uh, in many cases so and this has quite the selection of tamper proof uh, bits in it so I love this little kit so let's get started set the Good. I think that's, uh, let's see, let's double check here. And it's, by the way, and I'll show you this here in just a second. Let me get the batteries out because if I don't get the batteries out first, I'll be, the heater's in there running and I don't want to be changing settings on accident. So, uh, pretty simple, pretty basic. Uh, it's just got four screws there and I do believe that's going to be a number one. So, we're going to grab my number one bit Phillips that is and we're just going to pull these four screws out real quick helps that it's got a magnet and that helps hold on to the screw that's a must have when it comes to precision screwdrivers And then the housing should just slide apart. Sometimes housings have little clips that help hold them as well as screws. So this does not. And as you've seen, the buttons fell all over the place. So here is the inside of a diesel heater remote, if anybody's ever wondering. That's what the inside looks like. Uh, I'm not going to pull it all apart from the, you know, the contacts and all that because... There's not a problem with that, and I don't want there to be a problem with that. So, we are going to be focused on these here. And yes, I do remember the way they went. Uh, the OK button, that is the one that is not OK, goes there. The power button goes there. And I don't think it's going to matter on the arrow buttons, uh, which goes which. I don't think so. So, I think that they're going to be fine as long as you get them in the right direction. Uh, like that. So that's what we started out with and uh, that's what we need to finish with. So let's push those buttons back out of there and even though it's only the OK button that's giving me the problem I am going to do uh, all of the buttons and all of the housing and that's the reason why I've got this. Uh, the reason I got this is I'm going to just do a real quick touch on those the best I can and uh, you want to be very careful you want to do it on a lower speed because you don't want to burn the plastic or melt the plastic so you want to do it on on a lower speed and you just want to just be really super easy with it okay so let's just turn this uh, on one and I'm going to stop speaking while I'm using this because otherwise you won't hear me anyway and just uh, <laughs> Just a hilarious little note here. The screen isn't all scratched up. That's still the plastic protective covering because I'm one of those people. 
So I never did peel the plastic off of it. And I normally don't on displays. I try to leave the plastic on them as long as I can so that the screen don't get scratched. So we're going to turn this on number one. And I'm going to real quick tap the, uh, the insides here. Again, you don't want to burn anything. So it's going to be just a real, real quick tap. All you got to do is just tap it in. Just tap it in now. And of course you see it throwing strings all over the place. Okay. And you can see even doing it real quickly, it does start to burnish rather quick. Do the same on the back side. Oop. Tap it in. Just tap it in. Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a root. All right, we got that noisy thing out of the way. Okay, gonna try to get all the little hairs off there. And I did do a couple small little burnishes on the plastic. I'm not really concerned about it though. Again, the whole point of this is so that my OK button is actually OK. So there we have that. And all I'm simply going to do is grab some petroleum jelly, apply it to the Q-tip. And just real quickly, I'm going to run around the inside of the button holes. Oops. Just like that. You don't need a lot, don't want a lot. You don't want to absolutely cake the thing. I am going to kind of hit the back side of it a little bit here. Yeah, I mean, use the other side of the Q-tip because that one's all frayed. Okay. That should be good. Set that off to the side. Put our petroleum jelly back out of the way. And uh, I still got some strings in there, but I don't believe there's a difference on those, but that was a little snug to be honest. Yeah, that I think fits a little better, so I don't think they're supposed to go a certain direction, but again, we're talking Chinese craftsmanship here, and that's the biggest part of the issue, I believe. Get the power button in, one button left. Then we have all of our buttons. Just like that. We are going to take our back housing here with the actual electronics in it. Hold on to that key ring so it don't get in the way there. We're just going to slide it back together just like that. Grab our screwdriver. When you get shaky hands like I've gotten from years of working with them, that magnet really helps a bunch.
All right, let's check our buttons. Power button's nice and good. Down button's nice and good. Up button's nice and good. And wow, we have an OK button that no longer sticks. So the only thing left to do is uh, take something and wipe off the excess Vaseline. I'll do that in just a moment. I don't. I didn't grab anything to do it here. That was a fail. But anyway, there you go. I can even. Let me get my microphone down by it here. You can hear that button clearly working fine. So that's great. Uh, I won't inadvertently change English to Mandarin anymore. And uh, I will know what my remote's trying to say. Anyway, just a quick little easy fix. I know that's a, a very annoying thing to have happen is to have uh, buttons on remote stick. And uh, hopefully, I have showed you how you can remedy that. Until next time, Shalom.